Good morning, Forest Park family. This is Brent Warren, and I'm a member of your lead team. I've been blessed with the opportunity to share a devotional with you today on what I've learned about my journey with God during this pandemic. As the realities of the pandemic set into Michigan and the stay-at-home order issued by our governor, a lot suddenly changed in all of our lives. Like many families with young children, we are in a very busy season of life, balancing work responsibilities, raising children, lots of sports, and many other activities. Spring is typically a very busy time of year at the Warren household, with three children playing sports, amongst other activities. The pandemic brought this busy season to a screeching halt for our household, with all activities being placed on hold, or in many cases canceled. At first we had mixed reactions and emotions about the stay order this is great, now we have time to get all the projects done that we've never had time to complete before. To hearing, I'm bored, and there's nothing to do. Certainly this time has been challenging for everyone as the world switched gears from one that was busy with everyday life um, to one with an abundance of time, seemingly overnight. We always knew our life was busy, but we continually found time to fit just one more good activity in wherever a small hole existed in our schedules. As I reflected on this time in our lives, it became a huge reminder that I'm not in control of my plans. I also realized that there are times in my life that I get so busy with my own schedule, I leave very little time to spend quality time with God. There are days when I move right past many blessings I'm surrounded by without even noticing what's right in front of me and cutting God short on time with him. I feel stressed, overwhelmed, run down and wandering. Since COVID hit, God has blessed us with the huge gift of time. He's given us time to reflect in our ways and lifestyles. He's given us time to connect with him, to serve our neighbors, to prioritize family. One gift that I've taken from all this is I now have the time to make God a high priority in my life. In John 15, 5, it says this, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Man, what a powerful scripture to remind us that Jesus, that through Jesus Christ, anything is possible. Without a deep connection with him, we become the withered branch in our lives. The pandemic has slowed down life and activities around me leaving plenty of time to reflect on priorities in life. So if you're able to relate to my story in any way, the question really is, what happens with this lesson when the world reopens and life gets busy again? I'd like to offer this challenge to our Forest Park family today. Moving forward, what activities will we have to say no to? As Craig Grishel says in the book Weird, sometimes you have to say no to the good so that you're available to say yes to the best. The yes being God's kingdom work. Are you prepared to do this? How will you continue to make God a priority in our life when life gets busy? We know that God gives us just the right amount of time each and every day to do his work. So how will you prioritize? Will you pray with me? Dear Lord, I come to you today with a thankful heart for your continual and endless love for each of us. Thank you for always being there, patiently waiting even when we are astray. I pray that our relationship with you today only grows stronger as life slowly adjusts back to busy times. Please teach us how to walk with you throughout each day, even during the busiest of times. 
Thank you for all you do for us each and every day. Amen. Thank you, Forest Park family, for joining me this morning, and I pray that you have a blessed day.